Good morning friends. Now I would like to some problems on Lorentz series. How we can find out the Lorentz series by giving the function of z. Okay. I am taking one problem. If 0 is less than mod z minus 1 is less than 2. Then express f of z is equal to z by z minus 1 into z minus 3. In a series, in a series of positive and negative powers of and negative powers of z minus 1 okay first what is the given relation and what is the given function and given region given f of z is equal to z by z minus 1 into z minus 3 and region is 0 is less than mod z minus 1 is less than 2. Here in the previous case we can take only the single variable but here the combined with the variable and constant let z minus 1 is equal to u from this z is equal to u plus 1 then the region becomes 0 is less than mod u is less than 2. Okay. This is the if the z variable is converted into another complex variable u then the function is also reduced into that form after the simplification of that. Given f of z is equal to z by z minus 1 into z minus 2 but the right side function can be split into factors and by using the partial fraction so we can find out the separate terms here z by z minus 1 into z minus 3 that is equal to a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus 3 Taking partial fractions, taking LCM A into Z minus 3 plus B into Z minus 1 it by Z minus 1 into Z minus 3. Here left side is Z by Z minus 1 into Z minus 3. The denominator terms are get cancelled. Therefore, z is equal to a into z minus 3 plus b into z minus 1. Put z is equal to 3. Then left side in the place of z right 3 is equal to 0 plus b into 3 minus 1. This is equal to 2b. From this, b is equal to 3 by 2 is the value. Three is equal to two b. From that, b is equal to three by two. And put z is equal to one, and substitute in the above expression. Then in the place of z, one is equal to b a into one minus three plus one minus one. It will be zero. This is equal to minus two a. 
then a is equal to minus 1 by 2. Therefore, f of z is equal to a value is minus 1 by 2 into z minus 1 plus b is 3 by 2 into z minus 3. But here substitute in the place of z minus 1 is equal to u. But z minus 3 is nothing but z minus 1 minus 2. In the place of z minus 1 substituting u, u minus 2. Therefore, f of u minus 1 is equal to u plus 1. Here z in the place of z minus 1 is equal to u, u is equal, z is equal to u plus 1. So, f of u plus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 into u plus 3 by 2 into u minus 2. Then the region becomes 0 is less than 0 is less than mod u is less than 2. 1 is equal to u. If z equal to 0 then u minus, minus 1 is equal to u. Okay. where 0 is less than mod u is less than 2. Here f of u plus 1, it is a single term that is minus 1 by 2 u plus 3 by 2. Here u minus 2 is there. From this, modulus of u minus 2, u by 2 is less than 1, this 2 is Taking to the left side, it becomes modulus of u by 2 is less than 1. Then in this, taking common minus 2, then it becomes 1 minus u by 2. 1 minus u by 2. It is equal to minus 1 by 2u plus into minus minus 3 by 2 to the 4. This is taking to the numerator that is 1 minus u by 2 whole inverse by using the result or by the ex binomial expansion 1 minus z whole inverse is equal to 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube plus so on when the condition is modulus of z is less than 1 here modulus of u by 2 is less than 1 so then f of u plus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2u minus 3 by 4. Expansion of this is 1 plus u by 2 plus u by 2 whole square plus u by 2 whole cube plus so on. Okay. It is equal to minus 1 by 2u minus 3 by 4. Write in the simplest form that is sigma n equal to 0 to infinity u by 2 whole power n. Therefore, f of u plus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2u minus 3 by 4 sigma n equal to 0 to infinity u power n by 2 power n. It is in the denominator u term, it is in the numerator. So, this is the but the given function is not in u. So, substitute in the place of u is equal to z minus 1 and u plus 1 is equal to z. Therefore, 
f of z is equal to minus 1 by 2 into z minus 1 minus 3 by 4 sigma n equal to 0 to infinity z minus 1 whole power n by 2 power n. This is the required Lorentz series. Okay. It is the Lorentz series by the given relations and the function f of z. It is the required Lorentz series. Okay. Next, I am taking one more problem and how we are expanding by the series Lorentz. Okay. Expand the function f of z f of z is equal to e power z by z minus one whole square in Lorentz series about z is equal to 1. Here in the previous problem the region is defined in the z minus 1 that is modulus of z minus 1 is less than 2 some 0 is less than here at about z equal to 1 is nothing but the region is defined in the z minus 1 that is nothing but the function f of z is expressed in the factors z minus 1 that is the difference of the given regions okay here given function b given function f of z is equal to e power z by z minus 1 whole square ok here z is equal to 1 is a singular point singular point that is nothing but at that function at that value the function is goes to infinity that is undefined so this is a singular point. It is nothing but to expand f of z that is nothing but f of z can be expanded in the power of z minus 1. This is the relation. Okay. Here in this case, let z minus 1 is equal to u, then z is equal to u plus 1. Okay. This is the u plus 1. Then f of z becomes f of z is equal to e power z by z minus 1 whole square. From this, f of u plus 1 is equal to e power u plus 1 by u square e power u plus 1 by u square here f of u plus 1 is equal to e power u into e by u square ok it is equal to e by u square into e power u we know that e power z is equal to 1 minus 
z by 1 factorial plus z square by 2 factorial minus z cube by 3 factorial plus so on. e power z is nothing but all terms are positive. e power minus z is nothing but all the terms are alternating terms are negative. Since e power z is equal to 1 plus z by 1 factorial plus z square by 2 factorial plus z cube by 3 factorial plus so on. Therefore, f of u plus 1 is equal to e by e u square into in the form of e power u that is 1 plus u by 1 factorial plus u square by 2 factorial plus u cube by 3 factorial plus so on. This is equal to e by u square sigma n equal to 0 to infinity u power n by n factorial u power n by n factorial. Here the given function is in f of z, we can write in the place of u, in the place of u, write z minus 1. Therefore, f of z is equal to e by z minus 1 whole square sigma n equal to 0 to infinity z minus whole power n by n factorial or f of z is equal to e into sigma n equal to 0 to infinity z minus 1 whole power n minus 2 by n factorial. This is the required Lorentz series. Okay. In this main thing e, e power u plus 1 means it can be written as e power u into e power 1 e is a constant term we write outside u square is also only single factor is there then the expansion of e power u that is nothing but by using the result e power z equal to 1 plus z by 1 factorial plus z square by 2 factorial plus z cube by 3 factorial by using given by using this result in the place of z write u then it is in the u but the given function is in z variable so that u is can be reduced to converted into z then this is the either this or this or the Lorentz series. Here we can concentrate at a singular point z equal to 1 or in the given region if it is not in z that is either z minus 1, z minus 2 whatever it may be. First of all the region is in the single variable that is mod x mod z mod u like that only. Here z minus 1 is equal to u then z is equal to u plus 1 the region the function is converted into other complex variable u and that can be solved by the method of the uh, partial fractions and by using of the partial fractions so we can split into two terms then those terms are in the expansion way by using of the binomial theorem or the some important results both are same only and which is suitable then we are using that suitable expanded form and expand in that we are getting the Lorentz series okay thank you